Hey, what's up everyone? It's Gary with Thickskinned RC, back with a quick unboxing for the uh, Yeti XL. Um, I know it's been out for a while now, so I'm not going to go into too much detail here, but uh, I did pick this up here um, right after Christmas. Had some Hobbytown gift cards and some Christmas money, so I figured um, a big go everywhere rig was in store for me. So after weighing my options, I've got a couple Armas, I've got a couple low C's, you know, Vinny's got the X-Max, um, I figured this was a good bash buddy for the X-Max. You know, it comes with the obligatory manual, spare bits, all of that good stuff. Um, you know, you've all seen those a bunch of times in a bunch of other unboxings. The usual schmattering of uh, RTR stuff is included. I think Axial knocked it out of the park with the design of it. I mean, it's a killer looking buggy. Um, solid rear axle, independent front, uh, four link in the rear. And essentially, it's just a big beefed up version of the Yeti 380. So that's kind of what piqued my interest. Um, I, I love the you know live rear axle um, with the independent front. Um, it, it's just a great combo. Even though the Yeti 380 hasn't proven to be my most reliable rig. It comes with the tactic, uh, typical tactic stuff here. I, I really dig their transmitter, um, the receiver as well. I've never really had problems with that combo. Um, so, you know, I, I've got no beef with that. Um, I do like the hinged uh, access they give here, two clips in the front to get into it. So it makes it really handy. And once you pop the top, you can see the Castle uh, ESC, Castle motor, and inner cage. Pretty clean looking rig on the inside. Uh, big beefy shocks up front and in back. The back are long travel. And since this was the RTR, they're the plastic tops with uh, non-functional reservoirs in there. Suspension is pretty springy in the back. Um, really well dampened in the front. So we'll have to see how that handles on the jumps. Um, you know, over general terrain, that's probably not too bad. But I can see that rear end kicking around a lot. So... Um, interior, just like the Yeti 380, is pretty cool. Um, adds a nice little scale touch. The servo is one of the tactic. Uh, in my opinion, their servos are not the greatest. Um, had problems with them. The battery compartment, I dig. Um, keeps the batteries tucked in and safe and out of the way. So um, all in all, yeah, I, I really dig the rig. So uh, I'm not going to talk too much more. Uh, I've got some bashing videos coming up here in the next day or two. So appreciate y'all watching. Remember to hit that like and subscribe if you haven't. Have a good one.